Let's see. So yeah, it starts seeping there. That's Maureen, our executive director. We had to move all the. This is kind of a false wall. We, we had yeah, to move Maureen, that. Sure. I'll show you. I'll show you that too. We had to move all the walls. Oh, in uh, '97, uh, Mark, our archivist, uh, was '97 was the first time that this place started leaking. Uh, and so it's yeah the state of the art flood fighting system uh, is like a bunch of these it I don't know it, it, it's like a little trough that sure. is connected with hoses and old milk crates ingenuity yep and but that did work again even you know to cool. 12 years later and then we were able to just funnel it into the garb cans here um, there's a storage room uh, some of our, actually, none of our archives are, are in this room, okay. but it's along the same wall, only it's like behind a door. Sure. And so we just had to get rid of some of, uh, those are all like exhibit things, like, I don't know, platforms and things. Sure. Oh, yeah. wow. River starts rising, and uh, that's over by the church. Right now, the dike is right here. Okay. Um, this is a dike at the back. Um, I'll show you where this is. This is the on dike. The, on the other side of yeah, the... Yeah, by the receiving sure. door. That's sure. the big sem the door where we get our exhibits. And so they built a clay dike there. Um, this, it's like a culvert. Mm -hmm. that, so, okay, when, when you're... When you get... When you're surrounded by sand... Or when you get a big dike around you, you, you then you got two problems. You got the water inside and you got the water, or the water outside and then you got the water that's melting still on the inside. Yep. And so this is usually a culvert that, you know, it takes rainwater and spits it out. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it spits it out over there, but now oh, over there is filled up with water and so we have to plug that and it still leaks a little bit. So okay. there were about seven spots where we had to always watch out what, what uh, about what was, um, you know, there, there were leaks. Sure. You know, and there's bound to be leaks. Sandbag dikes aren't completely waterproof, yeah. but, you know, uh, and that was one of them. So we just, if we know that it gets up a little high, we, that's Dennis there, custodian, we, we just uh, plop the sump pump in there and send the hose over the dike and uh, and it just spits the water out. And, sure. Yeah. This is another, this is draining the water, the, the snow melt from the roof. Okay. And then okay. we just had to drape it over there. And this is before the sandbags. We're brought in. Okay, Wednesday. So let's see, March 25th. The, the crest was the 28th. Right. So three days before the crest, it snowed. Mm -hmm. And they did already have this dike back here. So it snowed. Water was creeping up. Uh, and then they went around, the city engineers went around, and they put in. Uh, they put in uh, uh, stakes uh, to uh, because they're going to build this dike to Projected up to 42 yeah. feet. Yeah, so 42 feet is what they're at. Our dikes now are 44 feet. Okay. And so they go in the snow, pounding the stakes. Water's coming up. And we gotta worry about the snow melting wow. here. So this was another part that was always flooding. There's like a little drain. Oh sure. Coming out fr uh, the, from the ceiling mm -hmm. melt. There's a, a I'll, I'll show you that outside. We always have to be pumping that out constantly. And then the sandbaggers come Thursday, two days before the crest. Uh, I think maybe 200 people came. Just formed a brigade, built uh, built the, the the sandbag dike around the church. Uh, and then I got the phone call where it's like it's like that emergency call it's like we're getting everything up we we have to get everything up to the to the to the top floor all the archives all everything and so i called everybody i knew and it's my brother there he's in the army reserves and he kind of brought over a platoon of guys <laughs> and we brought everything up in the archives we brought it all up to the top floor uh and a lot of the collections and so there were some people that's in the auditorium we just filled that up with tables this you know this is later on it's got tables 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 everywhere and that's our theater right now so usually it's just filled with chairs but now it's that's the archives more spilling out into the ship gallery there's some the auditorium there 
some more pictures of all the junk. And this, you never want to do this. This is horrible. Right. Because, I mean, uh, we had to put this whole thing back together again. And we are, we were surrounded completely by water. And uh, we just had this temporary sand, you know, gravel, di uh, gravel road that people, goes like behind Cirillo's, Melberg's, yeah. And that was our only access in and out. And then as these volunteers are in here, um, I, I don't know what time it was, but you know, in the afternoon, evening, uh, the, 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 that road was washing out like, okay. and they had to get out. And so then it's like, there's this, there's this, okay, everybody, we got to leave now, you know, and literally as the last bustle of volunteers left, like the walk, the road washed out underneath them and they almost got stuck. And then like the building manager, Holly works for the city of the parks department. It's like, Okay, Mark, Marcus, see you tomorrow. And you're like, how are you gonna see me tomorrow? I feel like I'm on. I mean, I'm on an island. <laughs> you know, how are you gonna get to me? 